Around two and a half thousand years ago, a civilization we know almost nothing about built this fortified temple in the desert. Its walls were once brilliant white and covered with painted figures. Today, all but the smallest fragments of the decorations are gone. The details of this culture and all traces of its language are lost. And yet, if you stand in the right place, you can still experience the true purpose of Chankyo in just the same way as you could the day it was built. But to do that, you have to be here before the sun rises. These towers form an ancient solar calendar. Now at different times of year, the sunrise point is at a different place on the horizon. Actually, December 21st, which here in the Southern Hemisphere is the summer solstice, the longest day, then the sun rises just to the right of the rightmost tower. Then, as the year passes, the sun moves through the towers until on June 21st, which is the winter solstice, the shortest day, it rises just to the left of the leftmost tower, actually just in between that mountain you can see in the distance and the leftmost tower. So at any time of year, if you watch the sun rise, you can measure its position and you can tell within an accuracy of two or three days, the date. Today's date is September the 15th. And so that means that the sun will rise between the fifth and the sixth towers. Chankyo still works as a calendar because the sun still rises in the same place today as it did when these stones were first laid down. That is a magnificent sight as the sun burns through the towers. You can almost feel the presence of the past here. I mean, imagine what it must have been like. Thousands of citizens stood here to greet the sun, which was almost certainly a deity, almost certainly their god. Like, what a magnificent achievement. I and mean, it's probably one of our earliest attempts to begin to, to measure the heavens. <laughs> 